We can't even blow up a balloon if she's in the room because the latex, you know how when you use balloons and they blow up that little bit of a powdery stuff? Uh, she immediately will go into a prophylactic shock. She has to have an EpiPen because it is so dangerous for, for her to be around things like that. Know spiritually what you can handle. Know what is poisonous to your system. I read a, a really funny little cute story. It was two snakes slithering along on the path. And the one snake stops and looks at the other one and says, are we poisonous? And the snake looks at him and says, of course we're poisonous. We're rectal snakes. Why? He says, because I just bit my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> so know what you're watching to do. So that you don't like yourself. <laughs> and do something to yourself. You know, most of the, the downturns that we go through, and most of the, the things that cause us to fall, we bring on ourselves. It's not other people that trip us up. It's because we are not aware of our weaknesses. And we should run from them. I love the story of Joseph when he worked for Potiphar. And Potiphar's wife was absolutely, fabulously beautiful. Her husband was gone all the time. He works for Pharaoh. He was the second in command for Pharaoh. And he was gone for months at a time on, on uh, missions for the Pharaoh and fighting and, and having to go to the capital. And he left his beautiful young wife alone. And there are many Bible scholars that say that Potiphar was a eunuch. So if that is true, there was no way that he could have a relationship with his wife and build that, build that relationship with her so that when he was gone, she would be comforted and she would be there waiting for him when he got home. So as a consequence, she had lots of affairs and she set her eyes on Joseph because he was young and he was very handsome and he was very thorough. He, was all, he worked hard, he was a slave, but uh, she took one look at him when he became, uh, uh, took over Potiphar's affairs because God blessed him because he was so not only smart, but godly, Pharaoh trusted him. So he says, when I'm gone on these trips that I have to go on, he said, I'm going to put you in charge of my whole household, including my wife. So that you keep things safe until I return. And Potiphar left and his wife looked at Joseph and she, the Bible says, began to lust for him in her heart. And man, he's avoiding her every chance he gets because he doesn't want to succumb to that temptation. But he was tempted to think that he was a human man that was young was, is laughable. He was incredibly tempted. But he knew enough about his weaknesses that he knew when to want. And the Bible says when finally Pharaoh's wife was so enamored with Joseph and wanted relationships with him so badly, the Bible says that literally one day she grabbed his coat and hang on to that and said, I want you to come to my bedroom. And the Bible says that he shrugged out of his coat and took off running. He left his coat in her hands would not stick around, would not argue with her to walk running. We've lost that art today. We don't know when to run and avoid the things that will trip us up. Know what you're allergic to and avoid it. Lastly, know what to hold on to and what to let go of. There are things that we need to hold on to and things we need to let go of. Know what those are. The Bible says that we are to be as wise as serpents, 